How to Replace the Footrest Actuator on the Human Touch Certus Massage Chair Be sure to keep all parts for reassembly. Start by turning the power switch, located on the back of the chair to off, then unplug the chair. Unzip the foot and calf massager upholstery from the body pad and detach the hook and loop fasteners on the upholstered flap. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws and washers from the mounting brackets on the chair. Flip the two mounting brackets up, then to remove the mounting posts from the brackets, lift the foot and calf massager up and slightly towards you, keeping the massager close to the chair to avoid damage. Pull downward on the air hose to remove from the chair, then press the tab on the connector and pull down to detach. Now, remove the five screws securing the lower front cover and detach. Place the tablet on the seat, then lift up on the tablet holder to remove and set aside. Carefully tip the chair over onto its right side by using one hand to lift from the bottom of the side panel and the other to stabilize and prevent the chair from falling. Be sure there is enough space to fit the full chair on its side. Remove the clip securing the pin on the rear end of the actuator and then remove the pin to free the rear of the actuator from the bracket. Then, remove the clip and pin from the front of the actuator to free it from the bracket on the footrest wheel. Cut the zip tie securing the actuator's harness to the plastic chair frame. Then open the protective fabric around the cabling and follow the harness to its two connectors, cutting any other zip ties needed to free the harness. It is important to make note of the placement for each zip tie for reassembly. Disconnect the two connectors by pressing on the tab to detach. There may be an additional zip tie securing the white connector together, which will also need to be removed before disconnecting.
To install the new foot wrist actuator, place into position. Then feed the harness connectors underneath the cable that runs outside of the cable bundle and reconnect the two connectors by color. Use new zip ties to secure the harness to the cable bundle and then cut off the excess ties. Replace the protective covering over the cable bundle and secure with the hook and loop fastener. Use two new zip ties to secure the cabling to the metal chair frame and cut off the excess tie. Then, use a new zip tie to secure the harness to the plastic chair frame and cut off the excess tie. Now, align the pin holes on the front side of the actuator to the metal bracket on the footrest wheel. Using the pin you previously removed, insert through the top and secure the pin using the clip previously removed. Then, align the rear of the actuator to the metal bracket, insert the remaining pin through the bottom, and secure using the clip previously removed. Carefully tip the chair back to the upright position.
Then, reinstall the lower front cover using the five screws previously removed and making sure the fabric is behind the footrest wheel. Place the foot and calf massager into position. Connect the air hose to the chair, pushing up firmly to ensure it is fully inserted. Then, with the connector tab facing toward you, connect to the chair. Flip the two mounting brackets up. Slide the two massager mounting posts into the brackets on the chair. The brackets on the chair flip forward to secure the posts. Replace the two Phillips head screws and washers previously removed. Press the upholstered flap downward to secure using the hook and loop fasteners, and then zip the foot and calf massager upholstery to the body pad. Insert the tablet holder post into the socket, then place the tablet into the holder.